Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today's date is October the 25th, 2020, and we've got a couple tickers we want to talk about today. One of them is JMIA, and another one is a penny stock, AIHS, Miss Vegas. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Hope you're having a nice weekend and, of course, staying safe. So we're going to talk about uh, JMIA and Jumia. And, you know, Jumia to me has been uh, one that I've been loving for so long. And I've mentioned it on social media and it's, you know, the Amazon of Africa. And you can see that they're a consumer uh, retail uh, platform and the thing is with Jumia okay uh, I'm hearing some rumors now and this is what the rumor is and this is why there's some hype on the stock and also we know Citron uh, he sent a tweet not too long ago that um, he is actually loving uh, Jumia and so Jim will show you that article momentarily but here's what I'm hearing so I'm hearing that you know, the worst is behind Jumia, and also that apparently there's a rumor that Baba, Alibaba, or uh, SoftBank might have some sort of investment opportunity or a partnership with Jumia in the future could be very inevitable because they're saying that the market size, and this according to Citron as well, that the market size of Africa is too large to ignore to China. And that uh, as a result, we could see some partnerships or investments come in. Uh, if you know you take a look at the Jumia chart ever since the beginning of October, I mean, this stock was just a little bit over $5, but holy crap, this stock has tripled practically between the beginning of the month up to now. And so Jumia is definitely one you should be watching for a swing trade. Uh, also, we have option calls. I'll tell you the options that we're in right now. Uh, we're in these option calls for January and the January 15, 2021. And we are in the $20 strike. And those are going for $4.30, which is $430 for one contract. Very nice open interest, over 6250 so far. And so this could be something you're going to like long term because Jumia has a lot of potential. So again, this is being referred to as the Amazon of Africa. I think the risk reward is there, especially if you like to go long on the stock. Um, I think that the fact that it's still below 20 bucks is still a good bargain. However, you know, you'd have to position size accordingly, do your own due diligence to see if this is worthy of you taking a position. But what a beautiful chart. And I'm loving what they have going on. I actually love the Citron's commentary on this as well. And I love the story. I mean, Jumia, I've been following, you know, Jumia to me is like a fintech company. They're just doing so many things and the online. And, you know, one of the things that they did back in March is Jumia and Reckett Beckinser was a partner to provide consumers access to hygiene products in Africa. Can you believe it? Hygiene products. I mean, it's so easy for us to get that, but in Africa, it's not as easy. So the fact that Jumia could be leading this on their e-com is just incredible. So again, Jumia is evolving. And I think this is something that you should all be paying attention to. And even if you're not going to trade it, at least watch it for the rest of this week and see how does the stock behave? Because this is heading towards $20 plus. So there's a lot more room on this stock. And I'm going to turn it over to Jim now to talk about this uh, gorgeous chart. Because my gosh, if you love swing trades, you are going to love this chart. And I want to hear, Jim, what you have to say. Because they have an earnings report coming up as well, I believe, on November the 10th. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for the earnings. But at least if you're going to trade it between now and the earnings, you can sell it before. Um, there's a great, great potential for the stock to have a nice move between now and then. So, Jim, let's hear what your thoughts are on JMIA. Well, she's definitely had a great move all the way from when we started noticing it. Vegas noticed this stock pretty early, 
right when it was right around seven to nine bucks when the break started to take place and it's been running a trend line all the way up ever since here for the past three weeks two and a half weeks so we kind of called a very good pullback on it uh, last week here right around 1465 and it was up here at the high when I called it and it was pretty nice to see that pullback right back to that support at 1465 the reason I called that support you can see right here we pulled back there once before and it followed that trend line all the way up so I just kept saying it's going to be a bullish stock and we're going to see a reversal here 1465 I had a target for 1678 and so did at 1737 last week although we did have a pretty nice day on Friday now I want you to see this on Friday we had an ascending tri triangle breakout and she kept bouncing off that 200 EMA for entry level as you see I called this trade right in the morning here when we had that second dip it followed that trend line, and I figured I'd, that's the one where we should get in at it. But I was in it a couple days before. So right now, we've got a resistant, like Miss Vegas says. Let's, I'll show you here on the 20-day where I think it's going to head. We've got that 1856, and we're going to go ahead and try to break 20 on it. Now, if it does pull back a little bit, it could pull back to that ascending triangle, and I'll pull it back to the one day, right back here, right around 1737 for a strong buy. Your second support, 1763, and the first one at 1798. If it decides to break resistance here at 1833, we're going to 20. And that is JMIA. Good luck to you. This is a real good one to follow. It's got great volume. Centron's positive on it now. And it's just, Vegas mentioned last week, this sucker has long uh, alert to $100 maybe if it picks up momentum and keep this long you know not tomorrow or, but right now it's really got a momentum play and the next one we're going to talk about is a penny stock AIHS yeah so I really want to talk to you guys about this AIHS because you know this had a beautiful week called a swing trade on this at one dollar and two cents back on the 19th of October in our room and then the next day I mean this had news and the stock popped because they had a news that they were signing framework agreement with BYD to purchase and jointly promote electric vehicles for ride sharing. So one of the things to just quickly tell you guys about this company, AIHS, um, this has started trading on the NASDAQ uh, back on March 16, 2018. So it hasn't really been around that long. And, um, you know, the company does 60% of it is um, owned by a company called Hunan Financial and another hundred and another division owned by Yi Chang Financial and then another division called Sichuan Sen Mayo. So this company operates solely in China, principally in the cities of Chengdu and Changshai. So they provide automobile transactions and services and what they do is they connect auto dealers, financial institutions, and consumers together. So the company used to operate an online lending platform in China that would facilitate loan transactions between Chinese investors, individuals, and small to medium-sized enterprise borrowers. But what happened is that the regulatory changes in the online lending industry had made the company have to wind down and then they discontinued their lending service um, since October of last year. So what they do now is they do a lot of um, automobile sales and you could see that they are the number one, they're, um, they do a lot of online ride hailing industry in China. So you can take a look the, uh, about that more online with, their, with the company. But the reason I really like the, the stock, I mean, it had a beautiful run. Um, you can take a look at the chart and Jim will go through it with you. But one of the other things too, is that it had a nice consolidation. So, you know, when you have a runner, don't take your eyes off it because it's already been about five days. And I think the stock is ready to have a range expansion. So Jim can certainly review that wonderful chart um, I think you'll take a look at the weekly. It's looking pretty good. But keep in mind also that um, this 
company, you know, it's China stock. And so sometimes these China stocks can be very volatile. So when you trade them, you know, trade them with caution. But I do want to make a couple points here about this company that the, ex the, the expanding automobile leasing and online ride hailing markets in China are creating opportunities for stronger growth. And I also think that um, the, this company offers a lot of a very attractive automobile financing and operating rental solutions and services to customers. And uh, what they do is they work together with the online ride hailing service platforms and, it, and multiple financial institutions and other third parties. So definitely, I think this is a stock to also keep a watch on because of the potential growth that this company has. And, you know, right now with ride sharing and things like that, it's a little bit limited because of COVID, but, you know, COVID eventually is going to eventually hopefully have a vaccine. And even if they don't have a vaccine, I mean, hopefully it'll be under control where people can go back to what they call their normal life again. But definitely keep a watch on this stock because this company has a lot going on behind the scenes and a lot of partnerships. So, Jim, over to you on this chart because it's had a beautiful run, but it's still looking good to me. Oh, yes. You can see this is kind of a little up and down, up and down area. We've had some pretty good highs on it. It's actually ran on a year, yearly basis of 235. Pulled back pretty hard to support. I drew this support line here from 26 to this line right here and trying to follow the trend all the way up. So this is what I'm looking at. I think if it does pull back any at all and goes below a buck, 81 cents would be a very strong buy. But I don't see it going down that low, maybe. We're going to say, we're going to try to keep support, try to keep it between 98 and a dollar on the pullback. But keep that 81 cents in mind in case it knifes. It might be a good opportunity to get in. The reason why we have the 200 SMA hits that 80 cents right there. I didn't draw that on there because of the 200, I drew it on there because of the trends of previous histories, of previous highs. So the resistance, we got a break, and I'm going to think here on Monday, it's going to be right around 127. We get past 127, we'll take it to 140, and then maybe have a hard resistance right around the 154 area, and then along right up here right around 188. But for right now, I think it can pull back to that dollar, maybe just a little bit lower, right around 90 cents. And retrace back up and then break that resistance and that resistance I'm going to point it out to you here on the daily one minute let's look at the 20 day see if I missed anything on the 20 day just come a little bit shy so I'm going to lower that that long 186 to 179 and I'm going to get rid of this 186 there's a reason for that too uh, drawing 179 that's going to be so we got a low support at 81. We got the second support that we need to hold right here at 98. And if that pulls back to that 98, as we did right here, we do have some kind of a descending pattern a little bit. But I think it's at a pivot point in this flag. You see, you got a little flag right here. You see what I'm saying? This was just a nice little breakout, but you got a flag right here. And I'll draw that trend. And I'll be done with this here in a second. Take that line and just draw it up here and hit that right about in there. So right at that 113. That's a solid support if it wants to hold trend. And then we'll go ahead and break it on up. Low support scenario, 81, 90. Try to keep it at a dollar. Resistance to break is going to be right around 127. Maybe long target to 154 and maybe 179. And then if the momentum keeps up, it can go higher. This is a float of 29 million, so keep that in mind. And that's it, Miss Vegas, J M I A and A I H S. Well, you know what, guys? I think the market's uh, looking pretty good um, as well. So we'll definitely see if there's any other opportunities to trade. So be sure to follow at Washboard Jim on Stock Twits, and I'm at Vegas One on Stock Twits. If you want to follow us. Uh, we try to post some ideas in real time. So if there's anything else that comes up during the week that might be some good trading opportunities, uh, if you follow on social media, 
you can get alerted when those traits present themselves. So always wait for the traits to come to you. And I hope you guys have a great trading week and look forward to uh, a green week. Jim? Yeah, and then we also have a Twitter link on here. Hit us, follow that Twitter link. We've really got some good following now. we got 5,234. We'd like to bring that to at least 7,000 before year end. Um, I have one more thing. Oh, yeah, we're getting close to an election. Expect a little bit of volatility. Be patient in the morning. Let the trades come to you. And don't try to chase anything. I mean, there are going to be chasers. But just try to play it easy for the next couple of weeks. And I'm telling you, if you play that kind of strategy, you're going to come out a winner. And this is I Love Stocks. Have a great day.